G'day, g'day. <clears throat> Welcome back to us, I guess. Uh, what else do you want? It's the last line to noobs and men. Uh, back with the third instalment of a uh, painting video. Just something a little bit different. Um, bit of an apology, I guess, for not having big streams of bat reps coming out. I uh, did my back in, so not being able to get out there to film many bat reps recently so it's been a few tier lists and and this um and we're kind of using our bit of our backlog to uh to get those bat reps out uh but no i've uh recently got a um uh, another commission so i thought i would paint up the one and only someone we speak about quite a lot and we give him uh, an interesting nickname um the shag lord big old shag rat uh lieutenant of kirithungal I can't remember, Captain of Kirithungal, something along the lines of that. Uh, but this is our target today. Um, so yeah, uh, so straight off the bat you can just see that he is being primed in a uh, black black prime with a silver over the top to get that chain mail and that armour done. I'm just going for a nice, gritty, grungy look. Uh, tabletop standard uh, for this commission. Uh, but I do want to put in a little bit of extra work onto what looks like that flayed skin on the shield. Uh, I don't 100% know what paints I will be using at the moment. I'm just diving in deep with it and uh, seeing where the paint takes me. Uh, being that I'm aiming for a tabletop standard uh, with this bad boy, I'm going to jump in with his skin, going with a Doomble Brown. Then onto his little tunic spot. You can see they're covering his crutch, the crutch cover. Uh, that is going to be uh, Mournfang Brown as a base, uh, but then that's going to get highlighted up a few times. The flayed skin on his shield that you can see there, it's all stitched together. It's just going to be my usual skin tone that I use for um, um, Caucasian skin tones, so starting off Bugman's and then building up into Kislev flesh. His hair's going to be black. Uh, that will then get washed uh, with the whole model. But then I'm going to mix the black with a lighter colour, whether that be a grey or maybe a flesh tone of some form, uh, just to highlight over the hair to give it a bit of a, a greasy, greasy look there. And his chain mail, I'm going to... I'm going to dry brush that after the wash with this Psycharax bronze, just to change it up a little bit from the... Uh, his armour plating there. Uh, but this is going to be a super simple, simple and easy paint job. Get out of the way, uh, but I think it's going to look stunning at the end of it. So super simple. He's basically just got his face <clears throat> that uh, has his skin tone. Doomble, straight on there. All from Citadel, these paints. Uh, I need to try and figure out some other paints, but at the moment it's just Citadel from me. But yeah, so Doomble, Doomble Brown as a base. Um, but you don't want to forget he's got his ears tucked in behind his, uh, his bits of hair. So don't, don't want to be forgetting them. I'm going to jump onto the, uh, the brown. So Mournfang jumping into his, his crutch area and his gloves. Yeah, so I, I did skip ahead a little bit. I said I was just going to do the brown and come back. But I ended up basically finishing him off. Just needs a bit of a wash, um, and then come back for a few highlights. So, as you can see, uh, brown on his uh, his crutch piece. He's got to protect that big dingling because he is the shag lord. My dingling, my dingling, I want you to play with my dingling. So, got to be very protective of that. He's got about almost three layers of armour over that. Black hair, as you can see, moving around. Uh, I have gone for a bit of rhinox hide on the back of the shield, as we can see there. Just so there's not so much silver. Mournfang Brown on the gloves. Uh, keeping this little arm guard um, silver as well for, for the armour. This silver's all going to come right back down because of the, uh, the brown wash or Agrax wash that's going to go over it. Mournfang for the belt back there. And then the shield. The shield of Kirith Ungle. So Bugman's and then some uh, Mephiston red over the eye itself. Uh, that's going to get a red wash, and it's going to hopefully look quite ruddy. Uh, the red eye will help to tie him into the rest of his warband, which is 
a bunch of Miranda Orcs who have uh, quite a lot of red cloth. Sadly, sadly, Shagrat doesn't have much cloth going around him to help me time in uh, to his warband and to the army as a whole. Uh, so this is where I'm hoping that the red Urukai skin and the uh, the red Eye of Sauron and what I'm hoping will be ruddy looking skin, uh, flayed skin on the shield will help to tie him in. Uh, so the wash has been laid down. Uh, an Agrax wash over absolutely everything. Oh, almost knocked the model. That's not ideal. So yeah, Agrax wash over everything. They actually spun it around nicely to show off the the shield, the shield of Kiritangul, which I have gone for a Karaberg crimson wash over that skin. Really hoping to give it that, as I said earlier, that ruddy look. But that also, it's freshly been been flayed. It's it's irritated, it's it's red, it's sickly, so really going for that vibe with, with that red shield. Um, I went for a double wash, so two two layers of wash over the, the plate armour that you can see up in there, um, just to try and differentiate between the chainmail and that armour, because he has a lot, a lot of armour going. So I'm going to try and change that up, as I said earlier off in the video, uh, with the uh, Cycrax bronze on the chainmail, just to try and change it up a little bit. If that doesn't work, I'm going to go for the the almighty rust look. Who doesn't love a bit of bit of rust on their chainmail? So added Mornfang brown to the shoes once again, just to break up that silver, because there was just there's just so much silver on this boy, isn't there? So um, moving straight into highlights, I think I'm going to jump. I think I'll jump into that shield. I'm looking forward to doing that shield. So that is going to be, I'm going to bring it back up with Bugman's Glow, moving into Cadian Flesh Tone, which will then move into Kislev Flesh, just to just to bring it up nice and bright. And then I'm just going to go over the top, where'd I put the paint, of the, uh, of like the, the eyelids of the Eye of Sauron, back with Mephisto. Oh look, he's come to visit us. Hello, Percy. It's been a hot minute since you've been on Channel A. What are you up to? Do you want to do some painting, do you? Yeah? Nah? Alright. Yeah, I feel ya. That's fine. What's under there, man? It's my foot. You don't get, usually get that for free, guys. Up. Uh, bye. Yeah, so the shield, all done, and it is looking exactly how I wanted it. Uh, so once again, it was Bugman's Glow which then moved into Cadian Flesh Tone, which then moved into Kislev, whoop, Kislev Flesh. Um, and basically that was just a couple of layers, kept it nice and easy. Uh, but then to really bring out that, that painful, sore red look, um, along with the Mephiston that I put onto the eyelids of the Eye of Sar on there, I turned that into a glaze and I... Glazed along the, the stitching areas that you can see. So those spots in there and up in there. I then also did a glaze around the inner um, the, the, the inner lining of the, uh, the shield itself. Just to really give it that painful look. Uh, I'm going to jump onto, uh, onto his face. That's going to be super, super simple as well. It's just Doombull. Doombull brown straight onto his face. Keeping it one simple highlight. I might move into Tuscal fur with it. Um, uh, well, a 50-50 mix of Tuscal and Doombull, depending on uh, depending on how I'm feeling. So yeah, I was feeling feeling a little bit frisky. Uh, so I did go for a 50-50 mix of Doombull, um, just to get that final highlight. It just needed a little bit of extra something. And so you can see there's a just a touch of... Um, just a touch in there because it's got a, kind of like a Superman look going on there with his uh, single strand of hair. Uh, but then we've gone and touched on the ears to his left and his ear to his right as well. I uh, don't want to forget Any, those bits. Anyway, I'm going to jump onto Mornfang into Skag Brown into Bane Blade Brown. And so that's going to be on the uh, on his cod piece, crutch piece, whatever you want to call it, onto his gloves. And any straps around the model, which there isn't actually too many. So just on the, uh, just on his belt back there, on his gloves, on his, uh, on his crutch piece. So nothing too much. 
Now, I'm going to be following the uh, wise words of uh, my mate at Microforge Minis when it comes to painting shoes, especially for tabletop standard, base, wash, and fuck off, which, you know, I used to sit there and do three or four different layers on shoes, but that moniker of base, wash, and fuck off, I think it works, because, as he said, not many people look at, look at the shoes, and it's also usually covered by basing material of some form. Now, for tabletop standard, I think that is justified. If I was doing anything higher than just tabletop standard, there's, there's no way in hell I wouldn't. Um, as you can possibly, oh, I don't have one handy at the moment, but, um, let's see. Oh, we're moving over here, look. Look at this, I have a Kandish King I've got. Beyond and stuff as well. Oh, the Kandish King. Nah, he ain't got no shoes there. Uh, oh, you know who does have shoes? Phaedrid. So as you can see here, I've gone with Phaedrid. I've gone three different layers. Which is the same recipe I'm about to do. Um, but yeah, so that's... Uh, what is it? Mornfang Brown into Scarag Brown. And into Bane Blade Brown. I think on a cab model like this, it's probably worth it. Thought I'd start this one back with me. <clears throat> uh, instead of jumping straight into the model again. Uh, but I do just want to give a quick shout out to uh, a painting channel called Sloan Ranger Studios. Sadly, I don't think uh, he's doing anything anymore. Nothing's been up for maybe about a year. But this recipe that um, I've just done, I, I kind of briefly showed you the paints, the Mournfrang into Scrag into Bane Blade Brown. I got that off one of his videos, and it is my go-to for any form of leather, whether that be shoes or belts or anything. I absolutely adore it. Um, he's obviously the master of it, and it looks incredible the way he does it. I'm just a humble apprentice trying to... Uh, replicate what he can do but um even though he might not be producing videos go and check him out go and have a look jump onto his instagram as well i believe it's the same at sloan ranger studios uh he's the uh second half of uh another sadly um channel that's not around too much anymore uh fail charge games another channel uh for uh middle earth bat rep videos that i absolutely adore um so yeah Go, go and check them out. They might, might not be doing anything these days, but absolute hoot to watch anyway. Go watch that back catalogue. Anyway, back on to the Shag Lord. So yeah, the Shag Lord got his belt and his cod piece and his gloves done. Um, you might be able to see here on his shield, there's a there's a strap at the very back and the strap the strap's holding the shield together. No, the, the shield to his arm, sorry. Um, I did not go into the Bane Blade, just to differentiate that a little bit. Um, but I've got his belt all done. Done behind him there. I haven't done the head, uh, the, the hair yet, which I said I would, but I will jump onto that, uh, that right now. But that is that recipe that I absolutely adore. It just looks, just looks incredible. I, I really do love it. And it gives, a, um, especially when you do the Skag, or oh, not Skag brand, the uh, Bane Blade brand really, really thin. It gives off a, uh, not, I don't want to say 3D, but when, when you move the model around, it's almost as if the highlight um, changes and picks up where it wants to go. So it's, it is absolutely incredible. You can kind of see that happening um, on that uh, cod piece at the moment. Uh, but jumping onto the hair, um, and actually I'll, I'll do that shield as well because that's looking a bit bare. Not sure what I'm going to do with that, but I'll figure something out. Yeah, we're on the home stretch now. So, the hair has been done, the back of the shield has been done. As you can see with the hair, it's a it's a mix of Abaddon Black and, what is it, Kislev, Kislev Flesh, just to try and give it that greasy, unwashed kind of look. It's It's got a bit of a, a, bit of a grey to it, but it is nice. It's doing the job. The other part that we can see here, and it's deliberately a little bit dark, as you can see as the light comes on, I've tried to give it a, the back of the shield a bit of a wood granny effect. Just a nice, simple, easy one. So I've gone over the back of it with Rhinox Hide, just down in lines. Next to those lines, kind of overlapping, I've gone down with Mournfang. And then I've done the exact same thing with a mixture of Mournfang and Rhinox Hide. And at the very end, glazed over with Rhinox Hide to set it in and keep it nice and dark. Under the light, it looks really well. The camera's somewhat picking it up. Uh, but it just gives a little bit of texture. 
nothing too much. Once again, nice, quick and easy job on, on that one. Uh, the final step, apart from basing, uh, which you will get a base in this video, guys. So, uh, huzzah, Sean's doing something you guys didn't think he would. Uh, so the final step is to pick out a few highlights on the armor and the and the sword, the, that big butcher's cleaver. Uh, on the shield as well, just picking up a few few metal spots. So the model, it's, the model itself is now done. Uh, I went over his plate armor with a bit of iron breaker here. Uh, just just going over the uh, the edges a little bit to make it look like there's the rusted spots that have been um, cut off. Similar to his butcher's knife that you'll be able to see there. You can see a few strokes um, going down. Also just highlights it fairly nicely. As you can see on that side as well. Come on, focus, mate. Focus. Nice. Over his chainmail, so that is the underarms and over his legs here. I went with a mix of the Cycrax Bronze, which I've been mentioning um, throughout the video. Then I also went and jumped in and used, just to give it some more tonal variation, make it look a little bit more rusty, uh, Belthasar Gold. So that just changes it up and gives it a nice variation between the, the plate mail and the chain mail itself. Um, touched on a few highlights on the shield, going around the... Um, uh, the, the the metal casing of the shield and that uh, little spike in the middle. Hello, Percy. Hey, Percy, let's show him some cool tricks. Percy, high five. Oi. Percy, high five. Good boy. Now, Percy, other hand. Good boy. Oh, aren't you a smart little man? Oh, you knackered. One trick and you're tired. All right. The Shag Lord is ready to be based. Um, now, I do want to mention, not sponsored at all by Geek Gamings or Zorpa Zorp or anything, as much as I'd like to be. This is just the best material, um, and I thoroughly enjoy using it. Um, so, that's what we're using, and that's how I'm basing this model. So, this is the Zorpa Zorp Scrublands stuff. No, kids, it is not. It is not my little baggy of drugs. It is my basing, my basing stuff. Stay in school, kids. It's good for you. Uh, but I'll be applying, applying the glue onto the base, and then he just goes for a dive straight in there. Base first um, to get up in this there. This glue is incredible. It holds just everything on the base. I've never seen anything fall off any of my bases. Um, so I'll dive straight into that. All right. So I've just spread the glue onto uh, onto shaggers. Uh, just around the base, using, yeah, an old Citadel brush, which is just caked up in glue. Um, I've let it sit for about a minute or two, just so it gets um, nice and tacky, so I can dip it straight in. Um, I'd like to do this and just show you the action of it happening. Let's see if I can sort this out. Maybe if I set this up here, does it hold the weight? Oh, nah. Well, that ain't happening. I don't have a tripod. Don't arrest me. Um, so look at that. Just bang. Oh, come on. Straight in. The nice tackiness. Holds it all together. You get a nice, nice and simple base. Well, that's the that's the shag lord done. Old mate shaggers, all ready to go, ready to join his Moran and orcs, and the witch king. Cardush uh, is going to show up in this army as well, and a few Morgan knights. So he's ready, rip roaring, ready to go. 
Three's in all the right places for him. One of my favourite models. Um, an incredible sculpt. Really good profile. One of the best heroes. Yes, people are going to argue Bolg and Azog are better, which they are. Uh, but no, one one of the best evil heroes in the game. And if I ever play Mordor, he is usually my first pick. Um, big, big fan of him. Really happy I was able to paint up a second Shagrat. Had a lot of fun. I really enjoy working on that shield, giving it that flayed skin look. Uh, reminds me of the Boltons from Game of Thrones, for example. Yeah. I was able to get a bit of a difference between the chain mail and the uh, plate armor as well, but still, you know, still quite cohesive with each other. It's not something absolutely outrageous. Uh, complete differences. It's not like it's red armor or blue armor with silver plate mail. It ties in nicely, it works well, and it's going to tie in nicely with the Miranda Orcs, which I will get a photo or two of them all together as well. Just ultimately very happy with the outcome of this. Did not take me too long at all. Uh, if it wasn't for having to film, uh, I would say this has taken me two hours. Um, oh, that that is with filming included. Uh, so maybe about an hour, hour and a half. I did take a, a break here and there, so my back killer um, the past few, you know, almost a week at this point. So, very happy, nice, quick, simple. Seven models left in this commission, six Orc Trackers and Kardush. I'd like to do a video on Kardush because it's not every day you get to paint a Kardush. So, I think I'll be doing a video on him when he finally arrives. Um, so, exciting stuff. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're happy that I fucking based one this time. Hmm? Don't tell... Don't come at me. Don't do it. Uh, but yeah, very happy. Thank you. And uh, I'll see you when we need another filler video.